Dickens was doing a, a reading here in Edinburgh and decided to walk home and he went through the Cannon Gate Kirkyard and he came across a gravestone with the name Ebenezer Lennox Scroggy. By all accounts, a really jovial, happy, generous sort of guy. So someone who really doesn't deserve, you know, to be associated with Ebenezer Scrooge that we know. But the mistake came from Dickens uh, that he misread Mealman for Mean Man. So it's thanks to Ebenezer Lennox Scroggy that we have Ebenezer Scrooge. The main difference about setting it in Edinburgh, apart from the location, is of course that Christmas was banned in Scotland. You couldn't be singing carols in the street. You weren't really allowed to go around saying, you know, Happy Christmas. And, you know, it didn't become a public holiday in Scotland until 1958. So what that does to the story is it's not just Scrooge that's anti-Christmas. The society, the, the, you know, the town council are, are the same. I never thought that Christmas Carol was particularly friendly towards children. So of course we have the perfect answer in Edinburgh with Greyfriars Bobby. Of course he's the direct opposite of Scrooge. He's loyal, faithful, very loving and generous. What we're going to do this time, which is very exciting, is we're going to get a choir that's going to be picked from the community. It'd be really good to have a real great sound of all these Christmas carols bellowing out on the stage. It's a story you know and love with an adorable dog, an Edinburgh twist, and the magic of Christmas. Oh yeah, and it's gonna be funny. <laughs>